I fell in love with the Countess when I was studying in Germany as a young person. I was able to go to the Frankfurt Opera three times a week on a student pass for something the equivalent of about two dollars and sit in the fourth row. And I went and saw this opera several times, even though I didn't understand the content or the text. The final scene was so mesmerizing to me. The soprano who sang it was so beautiful. And, and the, I, again, the glamour of it completely captured my imagination. And I remember saying, I hope I'll sing this role someday. So having the opportunity to finally um, bring this character to life was a real thrill for me. But she is um, very interesting, complex, and mysterious because we really don't know what's driving her throughout the entire opera. And the truth is, she doesn't know. <laughs> She's excited about being a muse. She's excited about the fact that two ardent, exciting men are in love with her, uh, but she doesn't necessarily want to commit to either one of them. It's a, it's a very interesting opera. I almost think it was, in fact, I think Strauss said that it was in fact meant really to be an argument about the arts, about words versus music, and they threw the love story in for sort of, sort of interest for the, for probably, uh, um, you know, people who would be less inclined to want to be involved in that particular argument. So, uh, but I find it very interesting. And she's at the center, she's at the heart of the whole thing. But the final scene for The Soprano is glorious because it's really her opportunity to synthesize the rest of the opera, talking about both words of music, but also about Olivier and Flamand and which man she loves most. And in fact, she ultimately decides she's in love with being in love and, and the feelings that um, she's probably experiencing for the first time in a while. She's a, a widow. And she uh, also in this scene, it's fully 20 minutes long, and it ends the opera, um, is able to allow Strauss um, some of his glorious writing for the soprano voice. He always loved the soprano voice. He, he was in his glory when he was writing for, for my voice type, so, which is why we're such a good marriage, I would say, musically speaking. <laughs> I mean, this had something probably to do with the fact that he was married to a soprano. I know that I would want to exert my influence if my husband were a great composer and just say, no, that, that soprano scene needs to be longer and better.